And right now at 734, we're continuing the discussion on COVID-19 and the importance of staying informed. We have you ask, we answer. Yeah, and once again, we are joined by Trinity Health of New England's Dr. Saeed Hussein. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Morning, glad to be back. All right, so let's start off. Firstly, we're talking a lot about boosters. It's definitely in the headlines and the news right now. What is your opinion when it comes to the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine and also how you think that might impact Johnson & Johnson and if those folks will be put in line with a potential booster as well? So just want to clarify for viewers, what's been approved right now by the FDA and CDC is a third dose for immunocompromised individuals or folks that have weak immune systems. And what we anticipate happening over the course of the next month or so is FDA and CDC will weigh in on looking at new data and give lend approval to a booster dose. And a booster dose will be slightly different. Uh, it would apply to the general population as long as it's been eight months or more after you've received the second dose for either Pfizer or Moderna. Um, and uh, as for Johnson & Johnson, we anticipate it will also require a booster dose, but we still need to look at data and there are studies that are ongoing. Well, doctor, talk a little bit more about the time frame for that booster. It's eight months after the second dose. Now, why the eight months? Because a lot of people are thinking, well, I got that second dose. Shouldn't that be good? And then if you could get a little bit more into the efficacy of that second dose, how long we're seeing it last right now? So absolutely. So a couple things viewers need to keep in mind. One thing is the Delta variant has upended our plans of how we were going about uh, uh, managing this virus. And we have real world data coming in from Israel. Israel is mostly a Pfizer nation. And what's concerning is new data from Israel indicates that uh, folks that were first in line to get the uh, vaccine late last year, early this year, so that includes healthcare workers and more vulnerable individuals, nursing home residents, are, are now coming down with a higher incidence of infection. Infection rates in Israel are rising, necessitating the uh, the uh, likelihood of a booster. And Israel has already gone ahead, along with some other countries like Germany, and have started uh, administering that uh, booster shot. So all of that data taken into account, in addition to other data, is what has prompted this uh, new um, measure that will be weighed in uh, by the uh, FDA and CDC. Also, just want to talk to you a, a little bit more when it comes to the vaccine. Uh, we're also talking about future mutations. Obviously, the Delta variant came out. Why is it so important? What would your message be to folks who are still on the fence about getting vaccinated and how that could potentially impact future strains coming about? Sure. So if there's one thing that unites all of us is that we all want to see an end to this pandemic. And we can get there with uh, everybody getting vaccinated with these highly effective and safe vaccines. What's important to keep in mind is if we have humans out there, if we have hosts that um, are not vaccinated and can get infected, then the virus has a chance to mutate. And will mutate, continue to mutate because it'll behave like a virus. And ultimately it may evolve to an extent where it's able to dodge vaccine protection. Now we know with the Delta variant, it's able to do that to some extent, but not dodge vaccine protection in totality. So that's the worst case scenario. And uh, again, we, we can avoid that by getting more and more individuals vaccinated. What's really promising is over the last couple of weeks, we've seen an uptick nationwide in this country of folks rolling up their sleeves to get vaccinated. And that's what we all need to work on. Now, doctor, before we go, I want to get to a viewer question. It came in late last night from a viewer named Gail. She's asking if we got the Moderna vaccine, can we get the Pfizer booster? Her concern is that she got the Moderna, but she says she got real sick for five days after. So she was hoping that she could switch to the Pfizer booster. What would you tell Gail? So Gail, so in current circumstances, uh, the CDC does allow uh, mixing uh, only in exceptional circumstances. So we will need to wait for CDC and FDA to weigh in on what a booster would look like. Uh, so far, data indicates that the booster should be of the same vaccine. However, if you had uh, some sort of reaction in the past, then uh, we await further guidance. So I don't really have a clear answer yet. It will depend on what the data indicates and what the CDC and FDA recommend. All right, Dr. Sane, we know if anything changes, you will certainly let us know. We do appreciate your time in answering Gail's question specifically.